Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS. Hey Siri, go ahead bro, why are you, why are you here? Apple.com should be able to answer that question and more. Hey yo bro, why are you here? Bye Siri, go. Alright, thank you so much. Now let's talk about Apple Watch. Apple Watch SE on watchOS 8.4 beta 2. How is this update on my Apple Watch and is it worth installing watchOS 8.4 on your Apple Watch SE? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are into Apple content and if you do want to watch more videos like these, consider hitting that subscribe button and now that you have done that, let's get right into today's video. So watchOS 8.4 did not really brought a lot to the table, but this update did brought some performance enhances and some bug fixes. Let's start with the bug fixes first. I was having some bugs when I was just opening the app and uh, uh, the camera app and it was just not responsive for some reason but now that bug is now fixed. Second bug is the Apple Watch unlock feature. That feature was not working for some reason and now and earlier I, have, I used to restart my watch and then when I used to pair my watch then it was working which was really really irritating and frustrating. That thing is now fixed on the watchOS 8.4 update. I thought it was something to do with my iPhone but it turns out that my Apple Watch had bug instead of my iPhone. See, I swear there are so many bugs on watchOS and iOS lately. Then talking about performance enhances, there are some performance enhances because I have noticed my watch being a bit more snappier after updating my watch to this firmware. It is not really a big difference because uh, you do not really notice these difference with your watches day to day with your phone you do notice because that is the thing which you use 24 7 the most but your watch you do not really use your watch that much i am someone who is enthusiastic so i do use my watch a lot and just scribble through my watch 24 7 that's why i do notice it there is a bit of a performance gain in this update of course i can't do geek bench scores or anything on my watch come on it is probably faster than my intel i3 laptop but still yeah yeah and Anyways, as I said, there are only some bug fixes and some performance enhances going on in this update. Not a whole lot going on, but still, is it worth installing this update on your Apple Watch? I would say do not really install this update until and unless you are already on the beta one. Then go ahead and install this update because once you are in a beta on your Apple Watch, it is not really that easy to get out of the beta version on your apple watch as it is on your iphone well that's pretty much it for this quick little episode of watch os what's new in watch os episode if you did find this video helpful consider hitting that subscribe button and like this video also we are really close to 10k subscribers so it would mean a world to me if you can hit that red subscribe button because i keep on doing these kind of videos for you guys peace out and have a great day everyone